Every day Australians rise before dawn to work the land, to support their families and serve the nation's demand for high quality produce. But every day they face drought, livestock management issues and animal welfare concerns. But right now there's a technological revolution sweeping across the entire outback, reaching even the most isolated farmers. Hi, my name's Mark, and I'm a bushy and a pilot, and I'm the founder of DIT, and this is my office. I founded DIT because I knew that there were innovative ways to help Australian farmers improve their bottom line. One of our core products are our dosing systems. It measures the flow of water, and it appropriately doses the correct amount of nutrient into the water for the cattle. Yeah, I actually think it's fantastic. Like, I was really excited to hear about it and to go through the process of getting some units installed and then also having the opportunity to measure it alongside these guys to be in a position to influence for the industry. Well, if the traditional dry lick model was costing them 14 to 15 cents per head per day and we could get it down to even just 10 to 11 cents, that's a huge saving on those sorts of numbers. And that's not even taking into account the labour savings of not having to physically go out there and, and put dry lick out or lick blocks. Seen an increase in reconception rates of probably 15% and we've seen an increase in body condition which is related to about 20 kgs of live weight. So we're looking at across 20 kgs it'd be $60 a head. It's not uncommon to have stations that have between 70 to 100,000 head of cattle on one station. So it's big numbers out here. At DIT our mission is to create more sustainable farming methods that protect the environment and the planet we live on, while simultaneously making our farmers more competitive on a global scale and enhancing animal welfare. We acquired the country's best remote monitoring platform, UC, which allows farmers to remotely monitor and control their livestock operations all from the palm of their hand. From the start, of the designs of the circuit board here to the software that runs on it. DIT has full control over its intellectual property, which is an asset to the business. Now telemetry can save thousands of kilometres of driving. Using the internet, the internet of things and, and cloud-based systems and satellites to be able to log into these programs remotely. The ability to measure a tank from 200 kilometres away or 1,000 kilometres away, those things all bring efficiency and I believe that's really the key right now. At DIT we have multiple revenue streams. We sell and rent our tech, and then sell the supplements on a subscription-based model. We also sell data packages to farmers for all of our IoT devices. And just recently, we've moved into the horticultural area. We've identified an opportunity to help horticultural growers farm more sustainably by reducing their water use and optimising the use of fertilisers and chemicals on farm. And make horticulture even more sustainable on our planet. We've practically created no cost barriers for our customers. We provide all the tech, all the infrastructure, all the labour and all the supplements to our customers. And we then sell to our customers on a per litre base, on only what the animals consume. This pivot and this new revenue model created a threefold revenue increase in the Northern Territory alone. In early 2019, we raised $650,000 from the crowd. We've already exceeded expectations and we're ready to open a new round of investment. DIT's been a really exciting company to observe over the last three years, going from a couple of staff members through to employing now 20, with projections of doubling this workforce over the next couple of years. For one thing, the trajectory is like that, and we're basically all trying to hang on. The growth is phenomenal. And we're seeing it every day that the uptake of the products is huge. We over-delivered in our last capital raise, and we aren't slowing down. We're raising up to $2 million in this capital raise, and we're opening to anyone to become a co-owner for as little as $250. The capital raise will go towards recruiting and training more people to join the DIT tribe assisting our R&D team to find solutions to complex farming problems, to establish our retail distribution across southern Australia through hundreds of rural merchandise businesses who will act as resellers for DIT, and to help launch our business into overseas markets, 
so we can continue to innovate and find ways to continually enhance animal welfare and sustainability. We can't wait for you to join us to make sure Australian farmers remain the best in the world.